Am I gonna turn it on and ru run to it? I can't get on while it's moving. Do I have to sh Okay, let's give it a shot. I don't understand how it's supposed to work, but... Magic, I guess. Oh my god, you're going too fast and you've changed your face. Oh wow! <sighs> that was such an epic design. It was a bit Tim Burton esque, wasn't it? Time well spent, I'd say. Oh. Oh, I remember this. Um, that is a really strange picture. <laughs> really strange. I don't think there's anything that we can really miss. I think it's um So the question is do we continue there or there? Well, since we s we found this and then when we stepped off it was right here, so treachery hides in thoughts. Treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. The first time I saw Callum, my thoughts betrayed me. I looked down at this wrinkled, red, bawling thing and I thought, is that it? We build our world from expectations and the world that I had built for Callum was no different. He was so real, so there, and so far from my expectations. They shattered, and as they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared, all of the warmth and goodness that followed, built on a single traitorous thought. Hmm. I don't think I can go in here. I thought working... <laughs> who puts up these? <laughs> but it's, it's good uh, for storytelling, so I don't mind. Maybe I, maybe I should start writing notes and leaving them at different places, just to enrich people's lives. I thought working in the park for a summer would be a lot of fun, but the end of season here really drags. There aren't that many tourists around, and so most of the staff spend their days standing and gossiping. And most of that gossip is about Chad. I mean Steve, see? Even I'm starting to call him Chad and I went to school with a guy. It's that goddamn suit. In the beginning it was a laugh. Steve the local lush a Steve the local lush as Chad, the chipmunk. Child friendly mascot Atlantic Iceberg. Lock up your daughters and all of that. But the more he wears that suit, the weirder Steve is getting. At first it was little things, like refusing to change out of the suit at work and taking it home with him every day. Ew. 
But then I saw him at Susie's diner still wearing it, and it wasn't even a work day. Some of the staff complained discreetly to parking management about the smell. <sighs> yeah, I would. And I saw him walking and talking with Mr. Winter, the owner, one day. But nothing seems to have changed. The suit still smells like a carcass whenever Steve walks by. And apparently Steve has picked up some new skills since the last time I saw him puking up in a gutter outside the sea coil station. Because sh he sure as hell can carve a mean ice sculpture. Those shapes he makes in the ice, though, they're the gives me the creeps. Steve came by the booth today, lucky me, and he just hung around for a while. Couldn't really tell because of the suit, but it seemed like he was just staring at me, sizing me up. I fucking me, whatever he was doing. I asked him what he wanted, and he just stood there, not saying anything. Eventually, I called my supervisor, and when he came by, Chad, Steve, wandered off. My supervisor told me to put everything in writing, so here it is. Also, I quit. I don't want to see that chipmunk suit ever again. Laura Henman. Oh. That was an actual jump scare. I didn't ri I didn't think there would be any in this game. But there you go. I've, be th I've become sort of immune since the... I still don't know if I should go to the... Um oh well, I'll continue here. I have to do a second playthrough of this. Um... To see if maybe I actually missed things, but n right now I'm continuing to go in the direction that I think the game leads me. I could be wrong though, I've been known to make, you know, to go in the wrong places before. Constant crashes in 80s music. Guess it floats someone's boat. I never liked bumper cars. I mean, who likes crashing into things? I just don't get it. What's that shock therapy? What if I got a uh, postnatal depression after having the child and I went to psychiatric care and was shock, shock treated uh, and maybe killed my own child because I felt he ruined my life? Brief description of the accident or incident. During the transport of the bumper cars into the arena, one of the straps attaching attaching the load to the truck came untied, causing a cascade of bumper cars into Francis, who was standing directly directing the driver. Francis was crushed by the weight of the cars. Describe any injuries caused. Francis was killed. Well, that's, well, that's one way to put it. Did the injured employee see a doctor? Yes, no. If yes, did the filing person work? Uh, yes, no. Supervi uh, supervisor's comments. Dexter, the truck driver, claims to have seen someone on the back of the load undoing the straps. Nobody else reported seeing that. The sheriff has requested that Dexter provide them with uh, urine samples. That could have been done to prevent 
What could be done to prevent this accident? Double checking of the straps after transit should be mandatory and drug screening for all drivers. Have the unsafe condition been corrected? No. Right. Let's go there then. This game has great atmosphere and design. Um, I really, really like it. Uh, we'll see by the end of it how disturbed I actually get. But I have sort of... After Cry of Fear, I just don't get as scared as I used to. Because Cry of Fear, my god. It's a matter of public record that I am a failure as a mother. Once, when Callum was very small, I left him asleep in the car while I ran an errand. Don't even remember what it was. When I came back, the sheriff was standing next to the car, watching my boy through the window. I didn't like what I saw in his eyes. Judgment. He wrote me the ticket without saying a word. Just the scratch scratch of his pen on the notepad. When he gave it to me, our eyes met. I know what you're going through. My daughter, Helen, she... Just get some help. Help was a bolt of lightning. Help was a thousand volts surging through my veins. Help is agony. I'd rather die. I wanted to scream. I'd rather you pulled your gun and shot me. But instead my mouth said, yes, Sheriff. So I did get up to this But yeah, I think I'm a crazy person who didn't like my child. Oh god, this, that scared me. The uh, the uh, shadow of the thing. Which is a good testament. Continually delayed by the incompetence of the builders. The problem is that they are locals, so they believe a lot of the rumors about what old man Henderson used to do here. They grew up on those tales. Every time uh, a bolt comes loose and a wrench goes missing, those fools are crossing themselves against the black magic. Of course, that is why I chose the site over all the other potentials. Solomon Island is a nexus for dark energy and the thought of all that power just dissipating beneath the earth here. It makes my skin crawl. I called in a few favors back in Brooklyn and got someone at the local academy to see if they had any interesting books about local history. Turns out they do, and it turns out that Old Man Henderson had some pretty strong connections to the Brooklyn crowd. Perhaps something he wrote will help me find the piece of the plans that I am missing. Maybe I'm supposed to write all the rights, basically. If I can get on it. Do I have to... No, here we can get up.
Just check. It doesn't look very sturdy, does it? 